Hi everyone, welcome back to another Cut Above with Chris. Face shave time. I wasn't going to do a face shave today, but a nice little parcel came in the mail. It is basically a, a care package from a new company over here in Western, Austro Western Australia. In Australia, I'm not sure where they're based out of. Let's have a look. Ashburton in Victoria. In fact, there we go. That's where they're based out of. And as you can see from this card, this is the company that they stock. I don't know whether they're going to stock anything else other than sterling, but there's nothing wrong with that. Sterling make a fantastic product at a fantastic price. This is the company, Artisan Arcade. Now the website is not up and running yet. It's artisanarcade.com. Peter is the person I believe that owns and operates and has started up this business. And he's done very well to get a lot of sterling products over. I think the shipment got delayed due to the hurricane and things. And it's, it's finally in Australian, on Australian soil. And I was sent three samples. This one that I'm using today, I'm not going to talk about the other ones yet. You'll see them in the picture probably. It's this one. Is that the right way up? Yes. Deep Blue Sea. Now, what an amazing scent that is. I think, I'm not 100% sure, I think it is basically Chanel Blue, or Blue de Chanel. Aftershave, that's the scent I think it's meant to be, or a duplicate of, or a clone, whatever you want to call it. But it's very nice, it's a good scent strength, it's run about a five. Sterling in the past have made quite weak cologne scents that I smelled, the Creed Aventus one being very, very weak. This one smells superb, really strong. I also picked up, I wasn't going to say, Agar and Piacenza because Cavichet makes it sound like the best soap on earth and it smells really nice. It actually smells, to my nose, a little bit like Mitchell's Wolf Art because I'm using that quite a lot at the moment. Now, I was also sent a package, a Ziploc bag, that's what it says. I know you are a mint head. Shake well. Enjoy. And what that is, is this. Frost drops from Sterling. I've always wanted something like this. A menthol thing that I can add to any soap that I want to get that cooling effect. I'm going to use it today. It's freezing cold outside. The weather's shit. But I'm going to use this today anyway. So what I'm going to do, I think, is just pop a few drops on top of the soap. Right now, so it says shake well. I don't think I can shake it any weller than that. Yeah, unscrew the, the top nib, like so. And I'm going to go with my lucky number here. Hopefully I can do this in drops. One, two, three, four, five. There we have it. Very good dropper. Absolutely no issues at all. And it's just pure menthol. That's all I can smell is pure menthol. Right, I'll talk about the razor in a bit. I was going to use my calf today, but I'm going to use the start razor because I've only got 16 hours growth or something, less than that, so 14 hours growth. I was also sent two little wooden dice with AA on there for Artisan Arcade. And obviously that must be number six, I'm assuming. Yeah, so that's that's essentially number six. But just a not just normal dice. But they're ideal for popping on top of your blades to know how many shaves you've had. I very rarely go over four shaves on a blade now unless it's a Gillette Super Stainless Spoiler or the Australian variants. Vintage blades last longer. Normal blades that you can buy nowadays, three to four shaves and I'm done. Ideal. So I'm going to start using them and just see if they actually do help me keep account of what's happening. Right. So the brush. The next brush in the rotation just so happened to be pretty much my favourite brush. brush. My favourite brush brush in the den. If you don't know what that is already, just from saying that. And this is an amazing one. This is a brush that, honestly, three years ago, if you gave me, I would have went, no, I don't like that, it's horrible. It's the Chubby 2 from, from Simpson. Absolutely brilliant brush. got a 27 mil best badger two band or three band I think maybe three band it looks like a three band badger best badger it smells lovely now from all the soaps that I put through it and it's got the best face feeling holy shit it makes a good lather so straight into this little bowl I've used a little ceramic bowl for the for the soap sample squished it all in there I'm just going to keep this sample in here and use it until it's dead 
I've got no more of these bowls. I would like to use them for the other samplers as well. And I'm just going to use this like a, a normal shaving tub and just load the brush from the bowl. And then face lather, do my usual. So, oh, that's, honestly, that scent is beautiful. Deep blue sea. Now, like I say, I'm not 100% sure that this is a clone or a duplicate of Blue de Chanel because I don't have Blue de Chanel and I couldn't honestly tell you just off the top of my head or just from the smell of this whether it is actually a duplicate of that. But it's got a cologne scent. Just lost a the hair there, and it would do my head in if it was stuck to the top of the soap. <laughs> issues, yeah, I know, issues. Got some serious issues. Back to this brush. I've actually lost a few here. There's a few hairs coming out. Wow. Do you know what? I might just leave it at that because I think, to be honest with you, this brush looks absolutely chock a block full of lather. The see it's running down the handle. I'm just going to clean that off just a little bit. Now, if you've watched my recent videos, which some of you will have, some of you won't have. I'm putting so many videos out at the moment, you'll be sick of me. But I do have my cast off. I do have a good, a reasonable amount of use to my arm. I mean, that's about as far as I can straighten it. That's as far as I can bend it before it starts hurting. And it's not hurting because there's broken bones here, it's, but there is a broken bone in my arm. But it's actually hurting because of the lack of mobility. Well, I had the cast on, so that's all it really is. Just pop that soap to the side. And here we go. Cold water shave with a mentholated deep blue sea. And hopefully, I don't know whether I'll feel the menthol from five five drops. I might. I might not. We'll soon find out. Five being my lucky number, it might just be perfect. One thing's for sure, sterling make a great soap and it lathers supremely well. Might not start painting some water. Well, I can feel the menthol. That's a good start. And that's gone translucent already. So let us scoop that from there on to there. I'm just going to wipe the handle a little bit. This is a little bit messy actually. A lot messier than normal. Split the brush. beautifully. Scent strength is absolutely perfect. There is the brush loaded. Get a gloss on that. Now, I've never had a problem with sterling silks, mentholated or non-mentholated. I like the fact now, that not only just sterling silks, I can mentally any soap with the sterling menthol. Right, the razor is going to be the start razor. Made in Russia. It's made for the shave. I don't think it's the prettiest looking razor. I think the head on it is quite quite industrial looking. The polish is not perfect. The polish is good, but it's not perfect. But I like it and I think it adds to it. It's got a I did have a chat with someone recently on Facebook, on, on Messenger, and basically, well, he mentioned it, that it's it's made to shave, and it is, it's an amazing shaver. And I've got the 0.69 blade gap on it today. If 
fact, if I just hold that base cap up like that, that's the right way. This is dodgy, dodgy. It should give you a better idea. There we go. So that's the base plate there. 0 0.069. Let's get a hold of that. Screw the handle on. Very, very short thread on it, which is actually quite nice because it's very quick to screw on. It feels solid, very well made. And here we go. And I've got a second use. I just shaved my head today with it as well. Second use Gillette Super Thin from Thailand. And that is so mild. You can see it's cutting. Let's see, I've only got, I've got less, way less than 24 hours growth. But it's cutting very well. This blade feels heaps better. And the Voscod did. I was going to use the calf, but because I've got such less little amount of growth, I thought this blade gap is absolutely perfect. And I have to say, I was right. I can tell you now, it's not the soap. I've been spoiled with Mitchell's wool fat, I think. Sterling's very slick. Great residual slickness. But that Mitchell's wool fat has really spoiled me of late. Very, very slick. And just feel the menthol, just. It's just cooling my skin down nicely and given that it's not a roasting hot day, that's perfect. I do like that I can just add as much or as little as I want. Beautiful lather. That's really dense and creamy. I can get this voluminous as well. I can make this a voluminous ladder, but I don't need to. Boys, I've got soccer tonight, and the wind and the rain has been battering down all day. So I'm waiting to hear whether it's still going ahead or not. I've got a feeling they may cancel. Gosh, this, is, this is really slick stuff as well, you know. I think Sterling, now Sterling's formulation, I think has stayed the same since I started weight shaving three years ago. I don't know how long it was in place before then. Yeah, I've got three beepers. One, two, three. I'm going to use something which was sent to me. These were also sent from the Artisan Arcade. The Legends Matchstick Alum. That looks like that. And all you do is you grab one. And you peel it off, like so. 
And then, I think this is as simple as finding out where your cuts are here. They're, they're pretty significant, I'm quite sad, surprised by that. For a second, I'll just rinse off. Hopefully, that's helped. The slickness of the sterlings just went straight back over the arm. No issues at all. And as you can see, that's pretty much clear to all. Now, it could be that my skin is just a little bit irritated. I did use a 1.18 blade gap yesterday on a single day's growth and got a crack and shave with hardly any irritation, any problems. So, I shouldn't really be shaving this soon. Set on the soap's gorgeous. I recently found out as well that I wasn't aware. A lot of artisans actually use pre-made oils and stuff like that for scents, pre-made scents and pre-mixed scents and mix them together to get a different scent. Not all artisans make the scents. So I don't know whether Sterling do or not. I don't know whether they use sort of pre-mixed stuff and then mix them together to get this scent. Well, I, I really don't know. I wouldn't want to say yes and no, but... Close at the end of the day, does it really matter? As long as it shaves, lovely. Certainly, Sterling's base can't be. Questioned much because it's superb. Now I may use this brush again next shave with Mitchell's wool fat, possibly tomorrow, most likely tomorrow. I really like this blade, uh, this blade and rock razor combo, the, the mild. 0.69 gap. It's really nice. It's this. It's just doing under my nose there. All in all, I'm still very, very happy with that. I think that's performed exceptionally well, the, the brush, the silk and the razor. I do feel a little bit irritated on my neck. I'm not putting that down to anything at the moment because I've done a lot of shaving over the past few days. And I've been using different razors with different blade gaps, different blades, different silks. I'll be honest, I think if I'd used Mitchell's Roll Fat today again, the results might have been slightly different because for some reason that silk is just Super protective, super slick. Lovely. 
certainly losing a few hairs out of this knot, I have to say. I'm not used to losing loads, but I'm losing a few. I'm definitely losing at least one hair per shave. It's probably normal for such a densely packed brush. But because I got this as part of a trade, I know I spent money on the razor that I traded. It's still not worrying me too much. Look, there's another two there. And these ones I'm pulling out here, they're actually half fibers. It's like the snapping halfway down. Maybe I'm pushing too hard, I don't know. I'm not too fussed because that is so bloody dense. Just gonna, I need to rinse it out again because there's so much soap in there. Certainly had no issues whatsoever with, with drying this brush, even though it's so dense. It just dries lovely. Right, put that to the side. I might as well continue on, clean off the razor while I'm talking shit. Got a little bit of blood right on there. Don't know why I'm using that towel, that's my polishing towel. Yeah, it's not the not the cleanest of shaves today. I say a very mild razor, and the weight of it deceives you. You push a little bit too hard, maybe. I mean, this is extremely mild. Like I say, this is close to like Merca 1904 style mild. Way milder than anything I've used before, I would say. I'd say it's possibly on par with the shade that you would get from. The Rockwell 6C on plate number one, which for me was almost a waste of time. The carve on double A is slightly similar, just just too mild. But there's people out there that need that. There's people with such sensitive skin they need something that's extremely mild. No, I mean I get away with I can use a 0.9 every day, pretty much 0 0.85, 0 0.9, whatever that range. To be honest. The 1.18 in this razor, I could probably get away with that on a daily shave. It was so comfortable yesterday. Anyway, the soap was wonderful. And it was Deep Blue Sea from Sterling with five drops of frost drops. Five frost drops. The brush for today is an absolute little beast. The Simpson Chubby 2 in Best Badger. Oh, it just smells of that, that cologne now. That's a beautiful scented soap. Now Simpson's samples are massive. That's a lot of soap in there. There's enough there for probably another 10 shaves, 15 shaves maybe. The razor is all nice and polished up now, nice and clean. It's the Start Razor from Russia, made by Vadim and his team over at homelikeshaving.ru. It's a beautiful razor. It's very comfortable to use. It's very nice looking. It's very rustic and industrial looking. It's very Russian. That's the way I sort of described it today, it's Russian. You know, they make they don't make the prettiest things in the world, but they make things that, that are hardy and last a long, long time, and generally are foolproof. The blade was a Gillette Super Stain, oh, New Improved Stainless Super Thin Blade from Thailand. It's not my favourite Gillette, but it's a very, very sharp, very nice edge, and it gets quite a few uses out of it. Post shave feel on Sterling is lovely as always. But I'm just going to pop a tiny little bit of Bluebeard Revenge Cooling Moisturiser. Come on, focus. There we go. I love the scent on this stuff. Don't need a lot of it. That's all you need. Ooh, a little bit of burn on that there. Eh? I think my skin just needs a little rest. Oh, and all that's a super sheath. I'm very happy with it. Anyways, stay safe, drive safe, don't drink and drive, and I'll catch you guys next time. Cheers.